Welcome to We Dig, the show where we talk about music, food, and things that are amazing in life. My name's Laird, and I'm at the local 1794 with the local, Chris. And here's what we did. We are at the local 1794 at the corner of Woodington and Danforth. The story I have with the local 1794, somebody recommended it to me, and I kept driving by the place, uh, and every time I drove by, I would want to go in more and more, and finally, finally, I got to go in, and I took one bite into their ribs, and I was completely sold. And this is the type of bar that you want to marry. It's classy, it's laid back, it's cozy, it feels like home. They have 24 taps of beer, it's just a great place. You just want to stay here. You don't want to leave. When you come in, you don't want to leave. This bar's ideal to hang out with family, with friends, have an excellent meal, and have a few drinks, enjoy your time, feel warm inside with the people that you love around you. It's a great bar to take that relationship to that serious level. So once you go from casual, you then want to go to formal, and this is the type of place to make that statement in your relationship. Even just talking about this place has made me hungry, so let's go check it out. Uh, today we're gonna make our, our our barbecue pork ribs. They're one of our uh, one of our favorites here. We uh, have a dry rub that we make in house. Um, we rub them and they're smoked for about two hours, and then they get thrown onto the grill, glazed with our blueberry barbecue sauce that we make in house. Uh, fresh blueberries and then your typical uh, barbecue uh, ingredients. It gets served with, on a bed of fries with some papaya and mango slaw. Our burger is, in, is, is made in-house. Our chuck is mixed with salt, pepper, and a bunch of secret ingredients. Served on a brioche bun that we're getting brought in. They're baked fresh every day. Chipotle aioli that we make in-house. Some romaine lettuce, fresh sliced tomatoes, and pickles. Every burger is topped with our smoked bacon and double smoked Ottawa Valley cheddar. Blueberry ribs. Awesome. Here for you. And please enjoy, guys. Today at the local 1794, I have our local Chris, uh, and we get to try these blueberry ribs. There you go. What you got is a, a sweetness of the barbecue sauce, a slight blueberry flavor that's in there that just lets you know it's around. The meat is completely fall off the bone. I'd say this is just go toe for toe for any backyard bar barbecue period. It's the opposite of beard friendly, but it's delicious. I don't care. I could get this thing messy all day with one of these. Uh, outside too, you can really taste the char grill. They're, they're char grilled. When you got that flavor that just is in there as well. They're doing it completely right in the East End right now. So Chris, before we get into this, how did you hear about this place? You know what? It's uh, it's been like I moved into the area not too long ago, and I was looking for like some fresh places to sort of eat. And uh, I, I just remember seeing on social media this place was opening up. Went by, it was still sort of closed down, but uh, I saw the renovations going. I saw the atmosphere, the environment, and that really drew me in. So I decided to come out one day and give it a shot. And you know, I had that wild boar pizza and some of that other stuff they put on the menu. Wild boar pasta, it's been delicious. So I've always come back and just tried something else every day. Chris, so are you uh, DFD? Now, all right, so I know that's some sort of uh, anagram or acronym or something for something, but hang on, let me see if I can guess what that is. Would that be uh, down for dinner? That'd be exactly down, down for, dinner. for dinner. I oh. am DFD <laughs> if that's the case. <laughs> Cheers. The cheddar just pops with that bacon. Both of those smoked flavors add that salty, slightly sweet. They have an aioli on there too, that mayonnaise, aioli. Fantastic. So the patty, unlike other places, the patty has character and flavor. And their bun, which they have freshly brought in, really adds that extra piece of character to it. So digging this burger for sure. So if you're ever in the Danforth or Woodbine area, might even be visiting Chris, want to hit somewhere that's classy, has a fireplace, cozy, feels good, and has fantastic food, local 1794 should be on your list. That was this episode of What We Did. If you like us, hit that like button. If you want to spend a little more time with us, hit that subscribe button. If you want the world to know more about our city, hit that share button. And we're also on Instagram and Twitter, so you can hit us up there. Otherwise, my name's Laird. I'm Chris. And we'll see you next time. Welcome to Week Up.
It's a good one. <laughs> we both have beards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the right choice, but it's delicious, so who cares? Exactly, no, it's totally worth it. That was amazing. Oh. My wife asked me to bring one of these home for her. <laughs> the Capone. The waiter will tell you that this drink has balsamic vinegar in it. Yes, balsamic vinegar. He has a joke with customers that come in that, you know, he'll pay for it if they don't like it. It's that good. And every time he walks over and he's, they all say, it's fantastic. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that was a blast of flavor, booze, ginger. You can even taste a little bit of balsamic vinegar, but it just works. Have you ever hit the local 1794? Ask for the Capone.